This is a nesting colony of white ibis. I've never seen this many before, and getting to this location was, well, tons of fun. Come on, let's go. Somehow, I need to get this into the back of my car here. I think I got it. Now the hard part, seeing if I can put it back together. This thing is so much fun. So if you don't have an electric bike, they're absolutely amazing. And I know some people are probably going, well, you need an electric bike, just ride a normal bike. Well, you can ride an electric bike like a normal bike, but you can also use it to just go full throttle without doing any pedaling. And it's actually kind of nice. It's a lot of fun. And this one's got really big fat tires so I can go all over the place. Oh God, that was a huge alligator. Oh. The alligators in this area are prolific. And because they're ambush predators, you really have to watch yourself closely when you're in their domain. Oh, I'm so easily distracted out here. I don't know what that was that just flew by, but this area is massive. I mean, it's probably a couple, and I'm really bad with this. Oh, that's a huge alligator too. Wow, probably a couple of square miles. Let me see if I can show you this gator really quick. Oh, this might be sketchy. Oh. <laughs> there he went. When I'm not busy dodging beastly alligators, I stop and take a look at the beautiful birds they call this area home. And there are plenty of them around here, from red shoulder hawks to amazing snail kites. There are so many birds back here. Oh, there's another big gator. Oh my God. That's scary sometimes. See this line in the middle of the road. Here's my hands. That would be where an alligator's tail dragged across the road. Alligators aren't the only reptiles here. This small water banded snake was very interested in my iPhone. Hey little dude, how are things in your world? The amount of wildlife out here is ridiculous. Everywhere you look there's something. Here comes some ibis. Sorry vulture, but I gotta come through. It's a black vulture. Oh, he's stretching his legs. There he goes. <laughs> he's still just laying right back in the road behind me. There's something else up here in the road. Let's go see what it is. Somebody has gone to the bathroom out here. I don't know what kind of scat this is, but it's everywhere. Normally there's a lot of bobcats out here. If any scatologists out there want to ID this, go ahead and leave a comment in the comments below. No need to comment on that. I think I have found the source of the piles of poo. Look at the size of that pig in the back. She is about to pop. I would say she's a little bit pregnant. And how nice of the dove to stand in the road for perspective. So, why did the pig cross the road? Well, I guess it had to use the bathroom. Let's see what else we can find. You know, my fiance said something to me the other day that made a lot of sense, and I wish I could take credit for it. She said, sometimes you really enjoy this because you get to explore, and when you explore, you kind of restore. Up here, you get a good balance, and I said, wow, that's amazing. I think I need to have a shirt made that says explore, restore. You might wonder why I'm kind of crouched behind my bike right now. It's not because there's a giant alligator on the other side of me, although there probably is and I just can't see it. This is good that I have the bike in front of me because if it did come this way, um, the bike would be in the way. I don't know if you heard that. But just over here, there's a pair of nesting ospreys and they've nested in an old palm. I wanna see, they're not on the nest right now. I wanna see what happens if I just sit here behind my bike. And I don't have to wait long at all. Here comes the female now. See that beautiful patch of brown feathers on her neck just under her chin? That is her necklace, and that's how I know this bird is a female. Females have that awesome little feature. And what an amazing landing. She came in with a tiny bit of nesting material clutched tightly in her talons, and talk about a display. Wow, what a beautiful bird. But let's leave her, her mate, and her nest alone and see what else we can find out here in the marsh. There's all the ibis here. 
and they're feeding in this little area. This is what I'm looking for. Ooh, very cool. Like most birds, these white ibis have undergone some serious color transformations during the breeding season. Their feet and their faces turn bright red for a short period of time. And then they get that funny looking sack under their chin. That fleshy appendage is called a wattle or a caruncle. But enough of the anatomy. Look at that brilliant golden hour light working its magic on the landscape and those birds. Let's grab a few shots. Here comes the first one now. And from this angle, these birds are absolutely amazing. The late afternoon sun has them popping with color and contrast. They seem to have just the perfect amount of shadow on their bellies and under their wings. And then the sections of the wings that are actually catching the most light are just naturally a little too bright, which adds even more contrast. But what I really love about these is the background color. That's the massive expanse of marsh grass that helps filter all of the rainwater in this area. And with the sun low on the horizon, the colors are really vivid. That's the magic of the golden hour, but here it only lasts about 10 or 20 minutes. The second ibis to come through has all of the same features, but it's a little higher so the background has more of a soft golden brown look to it. And you can really see this bird's waddle as it comes flying in. As the bird passes by me and heads into the sky, we get a better look at its amazing colors. Let's take a closer look at the detail on that funky shaped head and bill. These birds use that long bill to probe deep into the mud where they snatch all sorts of insects and aquatic creatures. And look at those baby blue eyes. Simply fascinating, especially this time of year with all of the bright, vibrant breeding colors. It's back to the rookery with a belly full of food for these birds. And in just a few days, this entire rookery will be overflowing with new life as the next generation hatches. Hopefully I can get out here and get some of that stuff.